We are out here with SD Marine today, a brand new Sea Fox dealer down here in Isla Mirada, the beautiful Florida Keys. And as you can see, the wind is ripping a little bit here in the bay, but it's absolutely perfect to see trial the three different models from Sea Fox that we're checking out today. So we have Ryan from the company on a 32, we're on a 28, and we have another gentleman from SD over there on a 24. So what we're gonna do is show you what we have on these models, and we're gonna talk about a little bit of what's to come with Ryan from Sea Fox directly. I'm on the 288C right now by Sea Fox Boats. It's got twin 300s on the back by Yamaha, and I'm gonna see what this bad boy is capable of right now. There you have it. As you can see, I was doing twists and turns. I was going at a cruise speed, top speed, and there's a lot of power with the twin 300s. And this big girl is quite agile for her size, for sure. So the whole thing with Sea Fox is they give you best of both worlds. You have your fishability back here, and then the party happens up at the bow, which we're gonna show you in a minute. You got tons of live well space. You got 55 gallons here. This is either 35 or 45 gallons pressurized that's why you have the extra latches but you only need to use one or two for day-to-day -day use and that's what we'd recommend we have twin 300s that push this thing incredibly well a jump seat over here on the starboard side retractable ladder as well on the starboard side jail audio sound system throughout retractable bench seat as well which acts double as kind of like a pad if you're doing any sort of fishing or fighting a fish off the transom here this is a two-piece hole two-piece construction rod holders on the starboard side horizontal and just check out the hardware that they've put everything has changed in sea fox in the last five to ten years and you can feel it we've been on a bunch of these boats and check this out you can lift this piece of upholstery out of the way tucks tucks out low to the water line just how we like it and then it has two little pin holes there for your ladder pop that in and you're ready for a great day of diving or hitting the sandbar easy way for your kids mother cousin to get in and out of the boat we have a retractable cooler yeti here which also if you pull that out is a secondary seat tackle station you got your plano boxes here little roll for your fluorocarbon you know cubby holes for whatever however you like to set them up everybody does it differently 15 degree vertical rod holders cup holders rocket launcher off the oversized hard top you get plenty of shade on this boat and actually let me pop one of these things out so we can see what it looks like underneath so very respectable fish box i'm sure this is insulated probably macerated i'm not sure and then all all the plumbing drains over the side of the boat. You can see that they put a decking material underneath, which doubles up as insulation and the gasket for the hatch itself. And we actually like that finish. It gives it, you know, it's a little sturdier a finish compared to the thinner gaskets that tend to bend, they fold, they pop off. You gotta replace them every 10 minutes. We're at the helm now. A Couple things that I notice: there's an angle here, which honestly is not my favorite, but you can do two different things. You can stand up, and this is the comfortable spot here on the 288. Sitting down, running longer distances, this is an excellent spot. And actually you can run right here with the seat deployed. And that's what I was doing here a little bit earlier. I've tried both angles and this actually feels pretty comfortable. You can pull this thing down, get some extra leverage for your feet, pop this open. You got your battery switches right here so you don't have to run into the console to turn those on and off. Love that feature. Yamaha throttles. You got your Garmin MFDs, a scan strut battery 
phone charger, which is nice. I've had my phone there, my two daughters, if you can see them, compass. And this has the regular piping configuration with the enclosure. And I believe they're stepping up to the piping with a full glass enclosure on the newer models. Pop up here, continue our way. You got storage all throughout that hard top and then easy access to all the doohickeys, the radar, whatever you have up on that second station. Then you got your light switches up here, easy to reach. A little panoramic sunroof that can pop open and just a really nice spot here at the helm for two people to sit back relax and enjoy your sea fox 288 mentioning a few of the specs of this boat it's 28 feet to the center line 9 8 beam you got 100 inches of bridge clearance you got an 18 inch draft 30 degree transom dead rise dry weight 6,000 pounds 185 gallon fuel capacity and i'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm reading that off my phone, which is on the trusty ScanStrut battery charger. I usually don't have that luxury, but with the glasses and that, I'm sure it, I'm sure it looked pretty good. Be honest with me, tell me in the comments. Working our way up to the party side of the boat, that is the bow. You got your lounger up here, comfortable little angle there for your legs. You know, it feels like you're, you're held in here. You got your armrest, which is uh, retractable. You can get out of the way and you got trusty cup holders, which are very important on both sides of you. Then pop this thing open and you got a huge storage space. I'm sure it could probably be used as a cooler. It can't tell you if it's insulated. We got the ladder in there obviously and you got the base for what looks to be a table here in the dining space up front. The forward seating is standard. So you have a couple of cool little options here. I'm sure you didn't even see it, but right here, pull this thing out with pressure and check out that hardware there. That thing pops into place. And you got a great backrest to sit back, relax right here. And then again, if you're not going to use it, tuck that thing out of the way and it just rolls right into your combing bolster. This is removable. You can get this thing out of the way. You can lift it, get the upholstery off and actually use it as a dining table. And then there's a ton of storage under all this. Let me see if I can open a piece of it right now. Just so you can get an idea. I don't know if I got to take this off. Yeah, we do. There you go. So it wraps all the way across this U shape. So. If you want to do some fishing and get this upholstery off so you can jump up here, you know, do some casting, not worry about fish blood and things like that, you can do it. But if you're going to take the family out, this is definitely as comfortable as it gets up here on the bow of the Sea Fox 288. Now we're going to jump over to the 32. I'm here with Ryan Balderson, VP of Sales over at Sea Fox Boats, and thank you as always for taking some yeah, time man. with us. We came down to SD Marine and Isla Morada. We've known this group for quite some time. We've been involved with them a little bit here and there, and super excited to hear that you guys linked up. I think it's a very powerful combination. Um, can you tell us a little bit of how that came about? Yeah, so Gabby and I, we started talking probably three, four months ago, and, um, and just about a partnership. and and their vision of what they want in South Florida and, and uh, you know, and Gabby's all about customer service and that's yeah. a big part of our deal is, you know, after you sell a boat, you know, you want the customer happy, uh, you know, just from a service standpoint and these guys have big plans and, and they're, yeah. they're going forward with it. So uh, it was just a good partnership and we wanted some good representation down in South Florida. You know, we got, we got the keys, they're going into Miami. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to represent us at the Miami Boat Show. So uh, we're just really excited about it. It's Excellent. Awesome. Well, congrats. I, first yeah. I heard about that, I thought it was, uh, it was a good thing. I think yeah. it's a perfect combination. I wish you guys a bunch of success and whatever we can do with you here at Center Consoles only, you know where to, know where to find us. Um, another thing, I know there's a lot going on with Sea Fox. We, we jumped on a few boats two or three years ago we were talking about earlier and it seems like what we're, what we're on right now is, is night and day from, from what we remember seeing back then. And from what you're telling us, there's a lot of advancements. There's a lot of changes we see on this 328 right now. Can you take us through a couple of those, just teasing it out as uh, I'm sure we're gonna see them yeah. here in the near future? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I work a lot of boat shows. I, I talk to a lot of customers, just getting their feedback and, and we share with our team, our engineering team. You know, big thing is the D-tubing with the glass enclosure. So this boat, as mm -hmm. you can see, has it. Um, we've invested in all the tooling to, to build these, the, the tops in-house with this new D-tubing. Um, and, and, you know, it's going to trickle down through, through our whole fleet. 
our whole line. And, um, you know, we're always trying to, you know, be innovative and come out with new stuff. We got some new upholsteries that, that are on the horizon uh, right. and uh, just construction too. We're always looking at new laminates, new composites and so forth, because our boats are all composite construction. It's lifetime hull warranty. As long as you own the, the boat, the original owner, the structural integrity of the hull is covered Excellent. 100%. That's amazing. Well, like I said, I could, I could definitely see the difference and I pushed the I pushed the 288 there pretty pretty yeah, hard. It was, uh, out there. it was fun, <laughs> and I'm sure the video will let us know what you guys think about that. But I had a little fun with it. Super responsive, agile. That that size 28 to 30 for me is is excellent. The twin 300s was was perfect, and I, I noticed the little details, all the hardware. You know, every you guys are really analyzing and improving, and that's what we all like to see. And the the message we definitely want to get across to those that have not been on a Sea Fox for a while. You know, get on it at a boat show check it out, come down to the Keys to SD Marine um, and, and see the difference from what you might have remembered 10, 15 years ago to now. It's a, it's a yeah, total absolutely. different company. I, I see you guys have rebranded a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah. Tell Fox, us about that. Yeah, so uh, we had our dealer meeting about two months ago and you know, it was fun. You know, we, we've had the old logo for, you know, I mean, we've been in business 27 years. Wow. And, um, and so we just wanted a little rebranding. So we changed the changed the, the logo look. Um, mm -hmm. We changed some colors on it and uh, the yeah. shield. We had the triangle. Now we got a shield and or like Fox that. said, you know, you can play with, with it a couple different ways. So yeah, it, it, it was fun. So yeah, Sea Fox like Boat Works and uh, it, yeah. So we, we uh, just so made keeping that the DNA of Sea Fox, but you know, staying up with the modern times, new yeah, designs. Exactly. You gotta. You got to spark some life into a, a company, I think, every now and then. You guys are doing a great job. I saw some of the pictures that they teased us with. We haven't seen them in person, but excited to see what you guys bring out here at the the upcoming boat shows, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Yeah. And uh, again, congrats with SD. I think that's going to be incredible down here in South Florida. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna represent the brand really well. You know, we always want to partner with with good dealers. So yeah. That's a big you know our partnerships with them. Cause it all it's all about the customer at the end of the day that sure. the end user you want them happy in, in, in your brand and, and you want to move them up through the brand and and that's what sd will do i i, I have full faith in that and you mentioned i i overheard that it's not obviously the keys in miami they're they're all the county of dade correct yes. yeah yep. so their boundary goes to from dade where and monroe county okay so that's how we do their territory and mm -hmm. so they have that whole that whole territory so they're going to cater to those people and, uh, and, and do an excellent job. All right, cool. Well, if you guys haven't seen SD Marine down here in Isla Mirada, they have a spectacular location right here on Snake Creek, which we're on right now. Uh, two seconds, I mean, I could throw a rock into, into the Atlantic Ocean here. Um, and they also picked up the marina across the street, high and dry. So they have quite the facility they're putting together, which is basically a dealership. They have service going on there and a bunch of other things upcoming, which we're excited about. We, we hope to spend a lot of time here. So if you have any questions about them, drop them in the comments here. We'd be more than happy to link you guys up with anyone that you need. Um, that's what we're here for. And we hope you appreciate the content we bring you here at Center Consoles Only. So you were just on our 288 Commander, yep. or uh, well, we changed it 288C. It's kind of a part of the new branding, but okay. So 288 Center Console. Now you're on the 328, and that when you get on this boat, you can noticeably tell it's a foot wider. So yeah. I mean, the beam is just massive. So you just get a lot more room, you know, in the bow. Just you know, it's just it's just a yeah, lot. Yeah, definitely bigger does boat. not feel like a 32 nah. when you step on it. Just looking at it now, it feels way larger. I would say this is a 37 if I was standing here and you were going <laughs> to ask me the length. Right. And just from the beam of it and not being able to see the bow, yeah. it looks like a far larger boat than 32. And you can notice too, it's got triple helm seats, which yeah. it, you look at any 32 uh, in the market and no one has triple helm seats. Yeah. So that that's kind of equates with the with the beam as well. So Very, very comfortable being able to drive from yeah. the center and have two people, you know, side by side. That's obviously a comfortable spot to run in if you're not sitting back here in the uh, in the transom area. So let's walk through this a little bit. Let's just show a couple of the highlights, if you don't mind, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. So 
when we're designing the boats, family friendly in the bow, fisherman friendly in the stern. So in South Florida down here, a lot of people live bait, sailfish, you know, dolphin. So we wanted a lot of live wells. I mean, this thing almost has a hundred gallons of live well space. Yeah, so, and that's pressurized. So if you're running out and it's rough, you know, your baits aren't getting beaten up, beat up out there. So once you get to the fishing grounds, they're pristine. They still look good. Mm -hmm. From a fishability standpoint, you got got all the live well space you need. Yeah, tons of rod holders. I mean, you got rod holders all over this this boat. You got a nice rigging station here. Uh, this open. Yeah. So you can actually flip this over and. Uh, got a nice cut board right here so if you're rigging baits or you know getting lines ready you got a little sink here wash 65 quart cooler premium cooler and then okay. for maintenance standpoints where you're standing that's a whole machinery box got your fuel water separators your pumps everything it's just easy access let me and, pop this open real quick yeah. just take a look at it all right yeah so you got fuel water separators raw water fresh water so it's just easy access. And what's what's this right here actually? So you got your freshwater tank back there, but those are the connections from, from the engine from the engine going forward to your batteries. Oh, okay. So they're nice and protected. So if you ever have any water, it just keeps them nice and dry. So interesting, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I hadn't seen that before. Yeah. Another cool feature is that you know the dive door or, or access in the sandbar. See how nice and neat that stores. Yep. Uh, big, big beefy you know, hardware you were talking about. Yeah, that's awesome. Edge. And you got a dive ladder that just clips right in, you flip it over. But then if you got drinks, you can just flip this open, fill this with ice, and drinks. Oh, so you drinks. don't have to get on the boat yeah, to grab yeah. your stuff. You just walk Very right smart. up, grab it. And then forward of that is a, is a huge in-floor fish box. I mean, these things are massive. Let's go ahead and pop one of these open. I know everybody likes to see the big fish boxes. Yeah. Let's go ahead and crack that. Wow. So nice and deep. You got a lot of depth there. Are these insulated and macerated, yeah, I assume? Yeah, yeah, fully insulated, everything pumps overboard. Awesome. And you got also one on the starboard side, about the same size. Excellent. Yeah. I see you guys have battled the sandbar before uh, with that with that little feature. I wish I would have had that before. <laughs> uh, that was all, like, who's who's got the next round? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we're at the helm of the 328 Commander. I just want to point out a couple of standard features that comes on every model of this 328 is the dual 86-16s. You get full Garmin package uh, with the Chirp sonar. Uh, it's got the high and the low. It's the big, big bronze through-hole tr uh, transducers. You get two of them. This boat's packaged with the Yamaha brand new 450s. And so if you do select this uh, motor package, it comes standard with the full maneuverability kit. So you get the, the joystick, you get the autopilot, you get the set point. So if you're out on the water, it makes it really easy to dock. And if you're fishing, you can do the set point if you're doing bottom fishing. This just makes it really, really nice to use the boat. And also standard is the JL system. So you get two JL amps, you get two 10 inch subs, and you get six speakers. So it's a really high quality sound system. If you're out in the sandbar or going to the sandbar, it always makes it fun. Yes, yeah, so now we're in the bow area, but before we get to that, so down inside the console, it's pretty neat. It's got a full berth down below. It's got air conditioning. So, oh, really? uh, so it's you usable get, for a 32. Yeah, yeah so it's uh, got a full porcelain head with a holding tank, you know, sink. So it's a bunch of usable space down there. So you know, if the storm comes up, you can get down there and get out of the weather. Oh, you yeah. come across a lot of 32 foot center consoles and sometimes that space, although the company tries their best, it's, it's really just too small, too tight. Right. It seems like you guys got a good amount of room in there. And again, you got the, you got the beam, you got the depth. Yeah. Again, still here does not feel like a 32 footer to be at all. <laughs> I know. It's a big <laughs> Gotta boat. put a measuring tape on this thing. I know. And it's got a lot of freeboard. I mean, you can see, I mean, you see how high this comes up. Yeah. I mean, so we're. Well, you we're got that, that Carolina flare that you guys are known for. Yep. Um, it's, it's nice how you kept the beam wide all the way up to this area here. So, you know, most boats, and again, since you have this this forward seating, it, it makes it possible. Again, this is this is standard, correct? The forward seating? Yeah. This is how standard, it is. Standard, yeah. So you're able to to get tight around to that whole side. You're not worried about doing so much fishing up on this bow like you would on maybe in an open model. Right. But what, what makes it nice is that this forward section right here is massive. I mean, this feels yes. like a, a, a tremendous area. That lounger there, although you got it set for two, if you didn't have that center armrest, I think you'd fit four people on this thing with the width of it. Yeah. And then how big is this? Because this looks like another. Yeah, it's massive. Immense storage space. Wow, yeah. look at that. So you got, got a dive ladder, we got the anchor. That they, four and a half feet across. Yeah. It's and massive. it's huge. Oh, you can never have too much storage. You can never have too much space. Again, this forward seating, besides offering the comfort out. up here, you got those like we showed on the 288 as well, put in by pressure. 
they're tucked out of the way so otherwise you don't even see that they're there storage underneath all of these which is great and then like ryan mentioned earlier you got this angled backrest so you're not sitting all awkward and uncomfortable you're actually you know incredibly comfortable <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> yeah see that <laughs> <laughs> who did the testing here yeah. this is this is well done yeah, you got your cup holders i mean you don't even have to <laughs> Extend your arm, it's it's at the right spot. So you guys did your research and development and uh, it definitely shows here. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah, you know, we use the product. That's the big thing. Yeah, you know, being an owner of Sea Fox, you know, all the other owners, we all use our boats and, and we use them with our family and, yeah. and, and we fish and so it's it's cool. So we just incorporate them right in into the boats how we want them. Well, I said you, you guys have been around a long time. You have an excellent dealer network. You told me you had fifty plus mm -hmm. doing a thousand boats a year. Yep. That's yep. incredible. So you got to be doing a lot of things right to be able to have that kind of support from the dealers and that kind of support from the end user. I keep seeing you guys getting better and better, and uh, it's always a good thing to see. A lot of companies get get comfortable, they get stagnant, mm -hmm. and they get left behind. You guys, I can see it from an outside, not not because you're with me here, but every time I see the boat, I see it getting better and better, and you know, keep on doing that because yeah. it's 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 good to see from the outside. Yeah, yeah. When you have a passion, you know, you love it, love what you do. You just you know, forward thinking, always you know, just you always want to get better. So. Yep. We can relate to that. Yep. <laughs> All right, man. Very yep. good. Let's head back to the marina. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. That was Thank awesome. You. Thank yeah. you very much. We made it back to SD Marine and we didn't get a chance to jump on the 248 out on the water, but we wanted to show you a couple of the highlights here at the dock. It's paired with a single 300, plenty of power for this boat. And on the starboard side, you got a retractable ladder. Check this little feature out. You got something that has multiple purposes. It could be a cooler. So if you're hanging out at the sandbar and don't want to jump in and out of your boat for drinks, again, like we saw on the 328, you can throw your drinks, your ice in there. And if you're not going to use it for that, you can actually have an aft anchor and they have the indentations here to set it diagonally. So it locks in place and isn't bouncing around. Then you have an opening here to make it easier to jump, you know, in and out. And right here we got basically a full beam fish box insulated so you can load this thing up with snapper pelagics anything of that nature and that's going to be your fish box you got your live well right here and this is another cool idea that ryan just showed us here a little spot for your bait net and not only that they actually had this this hole opening and they noticed that they were getting some actual loose baits pilchers falling in there so they created this little piece to drop this in here this holds it tight in place in there, but you can pull it out. And if you did get a bait fish in there, you can easily dispose of it and it's not gonna go down into your bilge. Taking a look at the helm area, they keep it nice and simple, which we like to see on a 24 footer. This has an 8.6 beam, holds 117 gallons of fuel, very fuel efficient, so you're gonna have excellent range. Got your switch panel here, some storage up top, your scan strut, battery charger, you can clip your phone, play your music from here and get, leave it charged all day your switch panel for your lights, accessories, things of that nature. And then you have a nice oversized hard top providing a lot of shade and big heavy piping to make sure this thing is all held down well. Sea Fox, as we mentioned, is transitioning to the D piping. So you will see some updates on this design, but I believe this is gonna be still an option from the company if you would rather this forward facing bench seat and what's nice again they have that big carolina flare that they're known for so just check out this seating sun pad that you have here so this is the traditional forward seating this piece right here can be set up as a sun pad as you see it can be lifted up with a base for a dining setup or you can remove it completely to have a more open option and then a couple of things as we've seen on the other models you got the backrest integrated into the combing bolster which makes it real nice and comfortable to sit back and relax here and then uh, the angled area at the bow, if you want to look back and you have the entertainment happening that way, sit back, rela relax, and again, well-measured out cup holders, which is absolutely phenomenal here on the Sea Fox boats.
Well, there you have it, guys. That was our presentation on three models from Sea Fox Boats and the big unveiling here at SD Marine in Isla Mirada as the new dealer for Miami-Dade County all the way down into the Keys. So if you're looking for Sea Fox Boats and they have some other brands you want to check out as well, this is an excellent lo location, whether you're looking for sales or service. So let us know what you guys think about the 248, the 288, or the 328 in the comments below. We're quite impressed from seeing it here in person and we recommend you guys check them out at the boat show. If you get the chance to do that, let us know what your thoughts because we definitely would like to get some feedback from you. My name is Alan, Center Consoles Only. We'll see you guys again very soon.